shifted into a new apartment this year and it has been so nice finally having a bath. For the last five years I have not had a bath while I've been flatting at university and it's just such a shame missing out on the luxury of having a bath and being able to use Lush products and that sort of thing. So now that I finally have a bath I've kind of been inspired to make some homemade bath goodies and I thought a video that could be useful for you guys is one that could be given as a gift a kind of set. So I've made a citrus inspired set of bath stuff, some bath bombs and some bath salts and also some tea to go along with it that I guess is just relaxing to have in the bath so it's a nice addition. So to start with for this what I did was grab some different citrus fruits and chop them up really thinly to dry in the oven. So to do that I sliced them up thinly and then took some paper towels and just dabbed them dry just to remove any excess moisture and then I lined a tray with some parchment paper, placed these different slices of citrus fruit out on the tray and put them in an oven on the lowest temperature, about 50 degrees celsius is good and left them in there for a couple of hours to dry completely. You can also take the tray out and flip them over a couple of times if you want to to just help them dry nice and thoroughly and evenly and then once those are dried you can put them aside and get on with the recipes. So firstly I made bath bombs. I used avocado oil, citric acid baking soda, some citrus essential oil and some citrus zest as well. So you're going to need a mould and I had this sweet little owl mould that I used the citrus slices as eyes for which I thought was really gorgeous but any mould would do and you could just put the citrus slices in there in any way you wanted. And so firstly to start with I put one cup of baking soda into a bowl and then added to that half a cup of citric acid and then into this I add about a teaspoon of almond oil and I add about 20 drops of tangerine oil or any citrus oil and I also add my zest and then I mix that through thoroughly and once that's mixed through you can get a spray bottle with a small amount of water in it you're only going to need about a teaspoon and a half of water start gently spraying the mixture and mixing it through until it's lightly damp you don't want to pour any water in there or it will all fizz up so you just need to spray it in there gently once the mixture is damp then you can put it into the molds on top of whatever you have in there already as I said I've got my zest and my little slices of citrus and so I press that mixture in there really firmly making sure it gets into all the crevices and is packed in tightly then I leave this for a couple of hours before popping them out. So then you have your citrus bath bombs and I really like the subtle yellow colour that comes from just the natural tangerine oil and the zest but you can always add some natural colourant if you want to as well to enhance the colour. So next I went on to making my bath salts and for that I used Epsom salts, some rock salt and some sea salt but you can just use one or the other. I also had some tangerine oil again, some more zest and some baking soda. So I started by putting half a cup of Epsom salt into a bowl and then I added into that one cup of salt. I used half and half Himalayan rock salt and sea salt, about a tablespoon of orange zest, about 20 drops of tangerine oil and then I added two teaspoons of baking soda and I just mixed that up and then you have your bath salts and they smell so so good and when you're putting them into the container you can always add some of the dried slices of citrus around the sides if you want to before putting the salts in there and that just makes a really nice presentation. So lastly I make the tea and this is just a really simple straightforward thing to do that's just a nice personalised touch I guess if you are giving it as a gift and so this is a spiced citrus tea and I use loose Earl Grey leaves as well as citrus peel and some star anise and some cinnamon scrolls. I just kind of peel some citrus fruits, you can always use the slices as well, um, just peel them with a knife or a peeler and then put them in the oven on low as well but they only need to go in for like 10 minutes until they're completely dried and then once you've taken those out you can mix together some loose leaf tea as well as some star anise and some cinnamon scrolls and anything else you might desire as well but I think that combination is really nice. So I just put them together into a container and you can always add a tea strainer to go with it and that's just a nice touch as well. So that is the citrus tea and yeah it's really really simple to do. So those are the three things together and I think it makes a really gorgeous set. I like how it turns out, I hope you guys do too and obviously you don't need to use citrus, you could use any other theme if you wanted to make a set like this for your loved ones or just for yourself. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you guys have a wonderful day.